not as good as I remember it at all. Plus, there was a lot of stupid shit that happened in it. And this one isn't a gripe at the exact movie, but it's definitely something worth mentioning. I have this on DVD, and that's what I watched it on. And there's two different versions of this movie. One of them's a rated R version. And the only thing that's different with the rated R one is they say the word fuck a lot. There's literally zero difference besides that fact. I used to really like this movie. I watched it three times. But even back then, I knew that was very stupid and, you know, wasn't really rated R worthy. Anyway, back to the actual movie. Part of the movie is they don't explain it, but it's pretty obvious. This guy gets hit with a car, he gets killed. So these people plan this because they wanted to steal money from this specific guy for some reason. They didn't realize people were going to be home, which has happened in a lot of horror movies or, you know, dramas or whatever. It's just. A cliche in a lot of movies. Kidnap the kids, but they don't get everybody because the mom defends herself. They think they have the upper hand. They don't. And there's this guy, Pete, who was going to help them crack the safe. But... In the end, the boss guy, Eddie, decides to just shoot him and take the thing to crack the safe himself. But the stupid thing is, Sam, his whole character is, all he wants to do is rob the place. He doesn't like hurting people. He doesn't really like doing, you know, murder just he wants to do a minor crime in comparison doesn't want to hurt people just wants money well when the other guy Duncan kills someone he gets you know obviously upset calls him a psychopath tries to talk Eddie out of this and says, this guy is going to end up killing us. Which ends up being true because he ends up killing Eddie. And Eddie wouldn't listen to him. Anyway. He's obviously upset. He, And this was just with some random girl that came to the house. That I'm pretty sure was trying to help them. Help sell the property to them or whatever. Anyway, she gets killed. He's upset. So obviously, if Pete, someone they were working with, got killed, you think he would be upset, right? No, he chases after her until he says stop. Eddie says stop. No, you don't need to get her. They go in there. They crack the safe. You are ready to get the money. Stuff happens, I already forgot, even though I just finished this movie. So they end up not, you know, just leaving. But he literally does not eject or question Eddie, and that would have been a pretty cool scene. The one person he thought he could trust killed someone that was working with them. There was honestly only two scenes that I really liked in this movie. And I don't even remember the other one right now. The first one was when that um, random lady came to the house. He tells her she just went to go shopping. And 
she believes him, but then she sees her bag is still there. So she tries to leave. I just like the real I like the realization on her face. But you know, it's not a big compliment to a movie. But yeah, it was pretty boring. And then they end up making Duncan even worse. He was like a terrible person this movie. Loved murdering people. Just an awful guy. Then he ends up being hinted at being a rapist. And the person he tries to rape is a child. A teenager. So that's always fun. But he gets killed and the movie ends happy ever after. It's just kind of a crappy movie.